welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap up round one of the Futsal Oz Cup. It has already lived up to expectations. And well, what a treat to have this one close off round one. Two very entertaining teams. What a season it's been for Baldwin to climb all the way up to fourth last season. They were in the relegation battles. And Metropolitan, of course, well, another solid season. Still no silverware. They lost that famous semi-final to North Melbourne. So they'll be looking to bounce back again in the FOS Cup. Avdic, Grigic, Redzepovic, Spiridic, Alex Stevanovic, Dino Redzepovic, and Gregory Lascar, as somewhat of a cup specialist, has stepped up for the Sky Blues tonight. Bourne have Frano in goals, Benny Bodo, Zadwani, Tony Saric, Mark Saric, Ivan Zilic. Not the biggest lineup, but still a very dangerous one who have proven themselves throughout this season, and Matty Obeid is at the helm. As we get proceedings underway, I'm joined in the commentary uh, box once again. This will be a goal for us. Remember the last time these two teams played? 10, 12, 10, 11, 12, 11. 12, 11. Yes. 10 so past. Just about the time that we usually play the 10-4 uh, game here. So this could be another shootout, Neil. What do you reckon? Well, Staddy, last season, Baldwin were perhaps more known for their defensive style. Uh, some very close encounters. This season... Uh, free-flowing. Yeah, this season they've adapted the uh, Metropolitan. Let's just see where this game goes uh, when we play and free flowing futsal. Big, big news, Greg Lascar has seen from Metropolitan. Yes, as I was saying just earlier to the uh, hardcore frontiers out there. He's nice uh, known for his cup specialties. Uh, yes, he's been with three cups and two premierships for the great man, Greg Lascar. The trophy cabinet does not lie. Uh, Yanni Kajewski not here either, Neil. Well, yes, that man uh, played the whole season with Metro. Tell me his whereabouts. I don't know. It's a bit surprising. You know, I think, you know, in the last couple of weeks, all right, he hasn't been the best, but he was usually solid. Oh, no! Ivan Zinich, the Statue of Liberty goes up. Already one year to ball with you. How was, was, was I was saying about Yanni Kajewski, you? Yeah, consistent, great goal there by Ivan Zinich. We'll talk about that because it was a beauty and a great pass there by What about Zidwani? Great pass to Dorney. I was going to say that, you Found Zinich in open. Oh, quick, great finish. Beat Yusuf Vagdich and then beat Greg Laskaros too. As I was saying, I think Yannick Adeski is not fair on him. Uh, he's been there most of the season. They had two or three keepers, was rocking up every week. His last two weeks were a bit inconsistent, but a lot of keepers go through that. I think Mitchell Pop has been stuck with him, Neil. But so anyway. They, they, they haven't opted for Kaczewski. It's not an injury or anything. Well, as far as I know, he was supposed to be here too, but he's not here. Well, there you have it, Study. Uh, time will tell if it is the right move or not. Does the Sky Blues have a corner? Tom O'Grigich on that left foot. Great save, Frano. So he's been consistent all season, Frano, hasn't he, Neil? Absolutely, but uh, this is when it counts. They didn't take out the Premiership, and perhaps next season they'll be contenders! Oh, and who's that at the back? Harley, uh... What a great ball there by Yusuf Avdij, and scores are back on level terms, Neil. Well, uh, this is going to be a shootout, Neil, I think, already one all. We say that Yusuf is uh, the one that usually opens up accounts, but that time it was a beautiful ball for him. Set it up with Varalia Red Zepovic from that kind of distance, uh, really makes mistakes. Zilic. Zilic. The bio oh, back to Zilic. Oh! Great link up play by Baldwin. Bodo Zilic, outstanding nil. And how about Zilic? you got to love the celebrations. The hand pops up, and then uh, do you know what he says to the Baldwin team when he has a. I think, Greg, I think Greg could have done better there. Got him on the new post over the top, nil. Maybe he should have done a bit better there. Don't you reckon? Perhaps that he, it was good link up play either way. Uh, Zilic again. Saric streaming forward. Great play, board. And who's there to finish at the back post? Zippy at Warney Nil. Whoa, what a goal. Double Statue of Liberty celebration. Both hands in the air. Why not? Once again, it's three players linking up here. This rock pouring out steady. Oh, I'm out. Take over. And we've still got a huge crowd. Bubba crowd in for the last game of the FOS Cup. So far, we know that Pascaval through, North Melbourne are through, and Parang. Oh, the Statue of Liberty has done it again! He's on fire! And I'll tell you something, Neil, he'll be up there for MVP and best of the first of the season. He's been outstanding, Ivan Zilic. You are a superstar, Zulu Zilic. Zulu? Yes. What's that? Oh, it's a new one, Neil. Zip is at warning, Zulu Zilic. Okay. Love it? Either way, uh, as you said, uh, most valuable player. And just how can you look past Ivan Zilic? 
this this ball and team, I mean, it was already a good team last season, just that, man. They went to the relegation They battle. should have got there. They should have gone. With Zilic in this team, my word, Staddy. And look at the scoreline already against the Sky Blues Four when right. it counts. That's right, yeah. And they're missing t Captain Courageous Tony Emery tonight, Neil. Anywhere about with him. No, but they've been playing out without him. Oh! Zip is a glory ball on fire, Neil. I'm talking about fire, red fire. If that makes sense. Red like the shade that your face has gone. Ridiculous stat, man. Absolutely, I'm blown unbelievable. Now you've got one tough, that might tell towards the end of the game. Might run out of legs here. Well, Staddy, they've seemed to be doing well with uh, less subs the past few weeks. Of course, they've taken it to North Melbourne when they had no, no subs, subs at all. Yes. And a very uh, uh, and the slim line oh! And they desperately needed that, Neil. Desperately. And they got one back, and it's 5 2 now, Neil. Still a long mountain to climb for this Metropolitan side. So what on earth happening capable. out there, Stanley? Bodies flying everywhere, funnels flying, flying everywhere. everywhere. Jeez, we're only halfway into the first half, Neil, and we've got seven goals already. We don't have to see seven goals in a whole game, let alone ten minutes, Neil. But it's good to see Bada have to get a lot of game time. Hit it, Benny. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, great save then by Greg Mascaras. It's, it's so uh, difficult for goalkeepers, that man. When you're conceding at the far post, uh, w w what do you do as a goalkeeper? There's not much you can do, Neil. You can't blame Greg for many of the goals. Well, maybe one so far, thus far tonight, on his near post over the top of him. Well, Zilic, that's the only one besides that. You cannot blame Greg for any of the goals. I mean, Stavanovic is on now. You, you get rattled, don't you, as a keeper, Stanley? Because you don't know whether to go to the far or if they're going to shoot. By the time they do shoot, you have to save. The defence is non-existent. What, 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 what's this word you speak of, defence, Statman? You mean you've got to have defence, Statman. Wow. Apparently, Zilu, Zilu, it's one not. Of the oh. Well done, he made himself big, Greg. Sports like a little giraffe, didn't he? Yeah, like a new, newborn giraffe. In the centre everywhere. Love it, Neil. This is dangerous again. Uh, that's oh, what no. we're talking oh, about. Oh no, today, man. back, back close. No, he didn't get it to clear there by Irizad Spiric. Where is the defensive Metropolitan now? No. Not existent at the moment. Good move, Thomas Lavrugic coming on. And a great strike there by Bora, and Greg was equal to the task when he's near post Neil. Danger not over yet. Rigic, Alia, Stavanovic is hitting that back post. Stavanovic! And Metropolitan are back in this, Neil. That's what they're capable of, this great team. 5 3 now, Neil. Well, for every moment they don't defence that man, they're full well capable of scoring uh, when they've got numbers well, for I thought, thought Sarah should have covered that, Neil. Should have done better. Yeah, well, on the other end, it was Greg saving at the uh, near post. Like we said, that man. Very difficult as a keeper. You've always got a player at the back post. That's like Warney now. Robbie Zach Warney, what a goal, Neil. That was a brilliant run and a brilliant goal by Robert Zappi. Zippy Zach Warney. You've lost it, Stanley. What a, on the outside of the foot, Neil. Great goal. Great goal, Neil. How, look at the ball from uh, Tony. Tony superb. Superb, superb Savage. And yes, Tony Superb Savage. Yes, yes you like that, man. Yes. Uh, and I mean, how did he generate such power with the outside of the foot there, Zippy Zed Warney, Sadie? Great goal. And now Ali, uh, well done by Fernando Savage. As we were saying, uh, Tony Savage has really uh, cur cur curved his nerves down. He was frustrated players playing more tempo football, wouldn't you say? Relaxed and enjoying the game. That's what he's about. He's the composer out there in yes. this uh, ball inside, wouldn't you say, Stanley? He has been lately, you know? Before he was the frustrator. Oh, oh no! That's superb! What are you going to That's another one! Well done, Tony Savage! Great goal. Keep it up, young man. That's for Zulu Zilic. He's on target for half a dozen, you Tony, superb, Saric. Love it, stat man. That's exactly why within seconds he's earned that nickname. Oh, stat man. Entertaining stuff here. Great game, Neil. Stavanovic, what can he do? Well dispossessed by Bodo. But it comes to Tom and Tom, a strike and hits the upright. Or did it come off Frodo Saric? It did. It came from a corner by Frodo. Jeez, that Bono man. just clears it out, almost took Manny, Manny had beat his head off there. The Croucher, uh, Staddy. He's not crouching today, you see, oh, the time will tell. Oh, this is dangerous oh, again. Greg, Greg was there at the right time, well anticipated by Greg. Stat man, when they're not going in the back of the net, the keepers are pulling off saves, it's hitting crossbars. What, what is happening out there, Staddy? Oh, it's a great game, it's in. There's not much patience tonight out there, it was just intense stuff. I like it, I don't mind it. 
the, oh, the action just keeps continuing, Sammy. Too quick to call. Yes, Neil, it's a great game. Stevanovic now, Grigic. There's no patience, Neil. Yeah, there isn't, is there? No, you get not the ball, 100 miles an 100 hour, miles let's go. They won't be able to keep... Oh, oh. Yeah, Stevanovic! Well, I'm talking about, Stamman, another one off the crossbar now. That one was off the uh, pigeonhole. Oh, what a game, 12 goals in 12 minutes. That's a, that's a hurdle. That's a goal a minute. Oh, more saves, Staddy. This time off Spiric. Got any crossbar saves? Jesus, unbelievable, Neil. It's just a matter of who's going to finish tonight, Statman. And so far, Bourne have been a better finish. Oh, look at this, look at this, Zed Edge. Zed Edge. Just why? And you say sorry to Bailey because Ivan's in his nature. should have given it back to him at the back post and it would have been a certain. Well, I think there was uh, some players covering at the back post there, Statman. I've got to say though, if it wasn't... Great ball uh, by Erzad, great ball by Erzad Speedy. The Blonde Bomber has been out of action for a few weeks due to suspension there for a couple of games in the Premiership. They're now he's uh, all right to go in there for his cut. Well, they've uh, lacked in defence so far tonight, they've made up in attacking prowess, that man. Absolutely, Neil. Finally, some patience here by Grigic. They've got to, they've just got to slow it down, Neil, because Bourne, if you oh, go... Oh, look at the counter. Oh, no, look he's look a counter. counter. One, two, two goal! goal! Great play by Bourne, but you cannot turn it, turn it over in your back half when you're solo on your own there and you've got two Bourne players ready to sweep Neil. Because you know what's going to happen. It's going to be going with the keeper goal to Bourne. It's going to be uh, five goals to Ivan Zilic with still 27 minutes left in this match. Eight, three. This is ridiculous. I'm you're the stat man. How many goals can he score if he keeps up this uh, average? He's really on target with that. 16. But I don't think he's going to get it. Zippy, Zippy. He's got Mark Savage on the left. Gives it to him. Mark one on one with Greg. Greg makes himself big and again. Well done there by Greg. He's been exposed tonight. Greg and again, Greg. Well, stat man, the uh, opportunities are clearly going to keep coming. And at this point, you'd say the goalkeepers are going to have a very important role to play. With that being said, there's not much you can do about back post finishes. And both these teams are pretty much, uh, that's how they like to finish about half the time, stat man. Yes, that's up to, that's so up the to defenders need to get back and cover those cover. far posts! And there's one unattended, Dean Averett Zipovic and he swats apart Frano Saric. Well, all class from the finish there from Dino Redzepovic. You see him jogging the ball to halfway because there's still a couple of goals down, Statman. Oh, well, Spiedic. How about the first touch from Stefanovic? Brilliant, brilliant, Neil, brilliant. And he's attacking prowess. And the 209 Premiership player, Alexander Stefanovic. Still Jefferson. no uh, cup uh, silverware. No. And he's going to strike it now on a great wow. save by Frano Savage. Great strike by Alexander. See, this is what I'm talking about. Matty O'Bead there, stat man. It, it, it appeared that he was sitting, but he was actually crouching. Crouching, yeah. He just makes it seem like he's sitting, so we don't call him the croucher. Is that right? But he is. Yeah, well, how can you not, stat man, when it's entertaining football like that? What's it, what has the season been by Matty O'Bead? It's been a great season. He's taken his team to uh, fourth place. If Zilic was here every week, would you say they could have contended for the title? Yes, so Neil. Pip and probably one more quality player away from being a top two shot, I reckon, board. And I'm sure next season they'll give it one hell of a shake. Oh, so just like the... Um, if he keeps this group together and he brings that guy from last week, what was his name, Dordain? Yeah, Dordain. Yeah, I liked him, Neil, didn't you? Absolutely, Statman. And uh, you've just missed uh, the goals of ball and being rattled once again, Statman. Have to get uh, someone to check out the structure there, see if the goals are going to hold up for the rest of the game, do, do any of these teams know about defence? Defending? No, it doesn't exist doesn't, doesn't in the exist. vocabulary, Statman. We don't mind, do we? Because nah, it's uh, entertaining it. futsal. The only one who would mind is that oaf, uh, Frank McKinney, who's apparently editing this one. And, oh, uh, he's got that's going to be hard. Work, he's got it? some carpet tunnel waiting for those knuckles. Zillage! Oh, Greg does well too again. Nice throw there by Greg. Great though, wasn't it? If it uh, leads to a goal, the assist is going to go down to Greg Lascaris. And it just might be, no, for anyone on a Benny On a Benny, on a bit of a Benny. He's good with his Benny Hill runs. He cuts yes. him off at about the fifth foul spot. Red Warney. Red again. Griggs caught eight, hey, but he's pulled off about seven one-on-ones now. The scoreline could be much more if it wasn't for Frano and Greg. Yeah, no doubt about that. How, many, how much more can it be? Take eight for at the moment. Eight. Oh, oh, what a save on Frano. Saric. Stavanovic, and this is where they're dangerous, Baldwin. I think they're going to win out on the counter attacks tonight, Statman. Greg, great throw there to Tomo Grigic. He's going to wallop it. He'll try his luck. Shouldn't have, there should be a bit more patient, Metropolitan. Build it up. Start from the back, start again. 
Don't just blast him to put his bodies on. Just go now. You just turn the ball over. I don't him. think they have the legs for it, that man, to what go at this pace. Well, they've got two subs tonight, so that should help. Usually, Stavanovic gets one back from Mitchell again. Alexander Stavanovic, the goal scoring machine, the four time leading goal scorer, gets another one from Mitchell That's his second of the night. He's got a brace already in the order to throw in the first half because Stavanovic could be in for a big night too. As the half time whistle has gone, gone. Stanley, that could prove to be a very important goal. That's unheard of, nearly 13 goals in a half. A Nike team week here. Have a look at those great ranges. Come down to Futsal Oz. We've got ridiculous prices. You'll let all the viewers know about it, please. Well, look at the, the, the scoreline out there. It just proves that you put on this gear and you're going to score gold. And uh, like you said, Statman, the prices are simply ridiculous. Second half underway. What do you think of Dino's new pink, uh, pink uh, shoes out there? They're not, they really stand out, they're don't they? They're a bright orange, Statman. They're a bright pink, and, aren't they? Uh, Look, if you're defending and you, and you have to look down at those feet when you're dropping off Dino Redzepovic, they're going to rattle you, aren't they? They are, yeah, of course. Like your team wear. Shoes. Brilliant. Alia gets another one back from Richard Poulton. And the Sky Blues are coming, Neil. They are not going to throw the towel in. They're a great club. They're a proud club. They want silverware. Neil, they want an Oz Cup because they've been runners-up twice, Neil. Twice in the Premiership. Twice in the Cup. They want silverware. They're desperate for silverware. How about this for a prelude to the next round? Either way, it's either going to be Baldwin versus North Melbourne. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Metro versus, versus North, North Melbourne. Melbourne. Whoa! Did that save by Greg? Greg. They're just amazing. Greg has been man. solid tonight, Neil. That was a good save there. Great save by Greg. Like I said, as a keeper, it's so mentally tough uh, to cop goals at the back post. And again, he makes himself big, Neil. And then pop up, Stan, and pull off these saves. Good throw to Dino, now Tomo's on the bike, and Frano Savage comes in. I like that, Neil, because he came out on his Benny Hill run, Benny Hill uh, run and timed it to perfection. Did you see that? Absolutely. I know he probably brought down his player, but he got the ball, and the ball went out of play. Well done, Frano Savage. And again on a Benny Hill, well done again. That was he... a foul there on Dino, the foul isn't called. Zulu Zilic now. Oh, poor pass there by Zulu. Is he from the Zulu Nation, that man? Yeah, yes, Neil. A great fan of the Zilic's. And what a finish there by Tony Savage, but no, nah, it's a free kick to Metropolitan. Free kick around the fifth foul spot. Alia looking to take it quick. They're saying get back, it's Yusuf. Alia! Yeah. Yeah. The little round throw with a hat trick all right, and Metropolitan are coming, Neil. Great Smart finish. play by the Sky. Oh, did you see the way he controlled it on one foot and put it to the other foot and slot it past Frano Savage? That was quality. And 7-8, here they oh, come, the Sky Blues. Alia Rezepovic, you are a superstar! Hello, my that case. Yes, you are, Staddy, but uh, with a game like this, how can you not go eight? Matty O'B. Did you see the way he controlled it with his right and put it away with his left? Do you like the uh, managerial skills by Matty O'B there? It seems Metro's getting a bit of a head of steam. What does he do? He calls a timeout. Yeah, smart. Very smart. Very smart. They've got to regroup all of them. Oh, yes! Zip is at Warney. What a great play part by the composed one, Mike Savage. Tony Savage. The superb one. The superb Sarich, stat man. Not that they're all not superb. And don't you love it? The assist should go down on the stats to Matty O'B. Yeah. Put it down. Yeah, the time now. Brilliant. Brilliant. But Zed Warney, Zip is Warney. Somebody should have been goal shot on him. You mean in some kind of defensive position? Yes, Stanley. correct. No, not going to happen. Zilic. unmarks that man. Look, it goes both ways. And a great save by the baby giraffe again, Neil. Bodo! Again. Good run by Bodo. I'll tell you something, Fonzie was bringing him goals. He could have been probably 15 or 16 already. Neil. So it was the right decision to bring him in. I don't know, Neil. I can't answer that. I think Yanni Kajeki should have. Yanni should have been out there too. He was, he was a consistent throughout the season, step towards the end of the season. But it, which time which keep was consistent week in, week out. There's not many in there. Yanni was pretty consistent. And there's a great goal there by our Ben Bodo sliding down and gets another one for Bourne. The time made has made a great difference to this Bourne side. Now they go three goals ahead in you. you know that? The squad blues will come in. It was 8 7, now it's 10 7. Matt O'Brien, it's a credit to you for pulling that time out, which you had to, and regrouped the boys and got them focused again, and now they've gone out to a 10 7 lead. Well done, Matty O'Brien. And now Dino, what can he do? Gets around Mark Savage, Tony Savage, sorry, and then uh, coming off his line with Brano Savage to cover his brother. Daddy, it's not a coincidence that uh, Ball went a fourth on the ladder from last season. Matt O'Brien got a taste of the V League. 
And now he's uh, cooked up. Back oh. pass to Zulay Zilic. And that's half a dozen to Zilic. The incredible one, the magnificent one, Zulay Zilic. Oh, what about Benny Bodo? The ball to Zilic. Oh, Zilic. unbelievable. Great, great foot. first time control. <laughs> sorry, Benny, I didn't mention you, but that was a great ball. Yeah, point. we're sorry, Ben great. hit it, Bodo. Have a look at that ball by Ben Bodo. And a great look. He was going to have a shot, but he looked over the corner. He was always saying, Zulay Zilic at the back post. Zadwani, great vision, great goal ball. An excellent boys, keep it up. Statman. Do you think that uh, defeat that Baldwin dealt Metro just a few weeks ago and then pipping him for fourth place, do you think that's the so, reason so, so they're out there yes. winning this uh, open, flowing futsal? Yes, I agree with you, Neil. It's just giving them that little bit of confidence, and tonight it has been a game of confidence and uh, nerves of stealing front goals. Oh, oh Benny! Oh, Hit a with he another does. great run! He's timed his run to perfection. That's the second goal by Ben Bono, but he's the unsung hero of his ball club. Does the one percent and sets up plays. Hits it hard. He's a great player, Ben Bono. He's, he's really one of those, how can I say it, Neil? Underrated players, but for me, I'll rate him very highly, Ben Bono. It's not he's a superstar of the competition. It's not that he's underrated. He's Stan underrated. Man. It's not that he's underrated, Stan, man. We go away, he hits it, we love it. The, the fact is, you've got the Sarage brothers out there phenomenal. Zippy zidwani has gone crazy. It's, it's a great team. It really is. Ah! Oh, stat man, and we have gone a time and time again about Metropolitan. Uh, there's a reason why, but perhaps they just need to change up their game next season. Study. Get a manager. Get a manager. That's the first thing, and I think they need a couple of young players. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight, you miss with Stavanovic and uh, Zipovic. I wouldn't and mind seeing Halid Avdic and yes. use it back there in defence. That, that's that word defence, that man. That's exactly right, Neil. A manager first. I must get a manager. I see Alem Luta doing a bit of... I don't know if he's managing or he's just... He's lurking. He's, he's lurking. He's not quite in the... the is he nursing there. or is he managing? I don't know. Just wait to take that step, literally. Somebody has to manage this team. Has, has to. Stavanovic will strike. It's the apple. What a great strike by Alexander Stavanovic. The four time lead. It's just. Here. Forced to Mike Savage and he makes himself big, Greg. Great save there, Neil, with his legs. That was a great save there by Greg. Two great saves. No, it wasn't a save by Bruno uh, Savage. But this was a great save by Greg now, Neil. It's just uh, heartbreak to see Metropolitan with still no silver. It doesn't look like they're going through to the next round. They could have done it against North Statman. They should. But what did North Melbourne have? Two managers. That's right. And, and it was their brain power put they together. Got together. They got that power play. And they, they call in the timeout huddle and the managers calm down the nerves of the players. Sarage. Say, you do this, you do that. Yes. Yeah, Yusuf right. said it perfectly in an interview a couple of weeks ago. They're all two good of friends out there, this Metro side. They all start yelling. They all want to be a bit a the manager manager. out there to each other. And it doesn't work. Doesn't they work need to focus on their game. Bono, well done there by Bono. Oh, but George Mateus, the referee, reckons he gave a foul away. A bit surprising me. I thought it was all fair. But he had better eyes than I did. Hit it, Yusuf. And he does, Neil, and it doesn't miss by much, Whoa. does it? He walloped that from a distance. See the movement of the ball. Yes, Neil. Corner kick here. Is it all over, or the Sky Blues have one more trick up their sleeve? No, I think not much time to go. Oh, there's still plenty of time, Neil. Six minutes, anything can happen the way this game's going. They're kicking a goal a minute, so they're only five down, so they could kick a goal a minute and win the game. Neil. Oh, no mark, Sarich, but what a clever morning! Zippy morning! Have a look at this clever, what a great assist, what a lovely back touch there, New Orleans. Sets up Mark Sarich for the goal. Back heel, mid air volley, doesn't matter. Anything this lad touches turns to goal. And it was only a matter of time before a young player of the season, potentially Mark Sarich, got on the score sheet, stat man. What are you looking at? I've got people interrupting us now. Yeah, well, they're getting up here to get a view of this. They can't believe their eyes. They can't believe the scoreline. They can't believe this show that Baldwin has put on tonight. That is the ball game, you know, I don't think. Oh, what a turn by Mark. Is there another one for him? No, there isn't. Greg, spear throw forward. Oh, great Mark there by Mark Sally. Tony Sally, Fredo Sally. It's got to be one of them. Yes. Superb one all the way back. We call Tony the superb one, not to say that uh, Mark Isn't and Frano aren't superb in their own right. Right, of course not. Oh, Stavanovic gets another one. That's, it, that's a hatchet for Alexander Stavanovic tonight. And he's had plenty of days in the V League, Neil. The king of the hat tricks, and uh, Staddy, by, the, by the, this game standards, a hat trick's not much, is it? No, it's not like getting one on the score sheet. But I'll tell you something, Neil, he's, he's got the most goals in the game. Yeah, yeah. 
to, have we brought up that stat every game this season? The stat? No, that's what I brought up every game, but I'm just going to let the viewers know. Well, Zedda Stavani, which has scored 11 in a game against Victor Corrales. That's a goal. Rarely do we see over 10 goals by team in the game. Look at the score line out there tonight, stat man. Ridiculous. Stavani should have got another one there. Missed. Mark Sarri screen for a poor pass. Let's take the use of Adams. Tatomo. Ooh, someone's down on some froth. Oh, and, uh, well done there, Mark Sarri. Frano 2. That's desperation by Paul and Neil. And again, oh, the ball, it's, getting, it's like a ping pong in there, Neil. Four and a half left. Four goals in it, stat man. Are there more twists and turns? Hey, Yusuf Avich is going to twist this on a 20 cent piece, Neil. Because that's another one to Yusuf. And that's his second of the night. Well, there were two players pressuring him there, stat man. We are critical of teams when they let Yusuf Avich get on the end of it, stat man, from the side ball and corner. Usually in other games, you see a lot of block shots, block. It's not much block shots tonight, you know? You mean getting the foot behind the ball? defense? Yeah, defense. <laughs> not at all, stat man. We love it, though. Yeah, it's been a great game, you know? Oh, Zillo. Oh, Warney again. Another, and it's five to Red Warney. Hey, honestly, you know, they are the best two guys linking up together. They just have a great understanding. Look at that. Bang, cross, bang, goal. Great finish, great play born. Well, Sadie, it, it's all in the, 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 the clinicalness, if that makes sense, of the passes. Yes, of course. It's not Spot easy on. to hit your player right on the preferred foot and then Zelic back without even controlling it. And not and, and the good thing about it, the passes where you don't have to break stride, you're running exactly onto the ball. Exactly it. So the defenders don't have a chance to get back, in fairness to them, stat man. Like we said, the skill's been Ooh, prevailing over the, the top. They've been superb ball, so which a problem. So with Metro and Statman, as I said, our hearts go out to him once again. But like I said, no defence today. Non-existent. I don't think it's ever existed for Metro. And we've said it time and time again, sometimes it works in their favour because they can break open a Pasco Vale or a North Melbourne. They don't let them play their kind of futsal. It's free-flowing futsal and just like And Dino gets another one uh, by a mistake by Ben Bader. That's uncharacteristic of Benny. And uh, Dino saying yes, that's mine. So we were saying Statman. Yes. Well, Staddy, surely not. Three goals in it. Imagine this one goes to extra time. 25 goals already in game of football. That's unheard of. I don't know if we get that in uh, one round. Imagine we get them if we game. How would the, the big old Frankie McKinney feel about it? Well, he'd have to retire, Statman. If not from the carpet tunnel, probably the uh, mental anguish. Superb. Saric. Oh, was that a save by Greg? Did he end up like? A bit of save. And another save there by Greg. Is that Alex Hussein? He's gone behind the bench now. He's over. been here for the last four weeks. He wants a cup. He wants. A, he wants a cup action. He has qualified for the cup. Well, you know that. Someone's well, picked him up out there. Yes. I thought he was a state league proper stat man. Well, he's played at the state league in uh, Brighton this season, but uh, the criteria he's played five v league or state league, league games, and he can qualify for the Air Force Cup. In and we had Jimmy Lai here tonight playing. Yeah, did well, old Jimmy Lai. Yes. Not enough to us. Zilic, one on one with Greg. Rounds him up. Oh, wraps oh, up the night. Zule Zilic with a lazy seven tonight, Neil. What a year by this great man. How does he keep on doing it, Neil? At the age of, the, the tender age of 42, have a look at how good the man is. How many more seasons has this great man got in, Neil? The way he's going, he can still play for another five, Neil. He's superb. Hats off to the great man. Seven step. And by the way, a lovely family too. They always come and support the VV. Young Dennis Zilic, his wife, his other son, I can't remember his name, do you know? No, but uh, they're a great family. They always come and support the VV. They love it. Man. How much would they have loved and that's, tonight? And that's the finals. How much would they have loved the incredible one with seven today? I loved them. I'm sure the Zilic would have loved it too. 15-11 tonight, and here we have Incredible one, and tonight he proved exactly why he is just that. Same with the ball inside, Ivan. What a performance out there to concede 11 goals and still win a game. Well, it just goes to show uh, exactly what this game of futsal is about. Mate, how are you feeling after that big uh, derby clash against Metro there? Beautiful. Beautiful, like a real winner. It was a big win. I didn't think we were going to win, but we won it.
Now, Ivan, uh, we always see you pumped up out there. It doesn't matter what game it is, you get the boys pumped. You've taken this ball and team a very tight unit a long way. And we've seen it after the game. You boys really enjoy your futsal together. And a lot of people talking around futsal odds as if you guys can go all the way in ball and a lot of faith. And uh, there's a lot of faith within the team that you can take out this silverware, right? Look, all I can promise you, we're going to try our best. If we make the final, if we win, I don't know. Next game, we're going to try our best. And then we see what happens. Who would you like to face on it? Really, I don't care. If we play all right, everybody's going to be in trouble, but that doesn't, doesn't mean we're going to win. We're going we're gonna to do 100%, whatever happens, happens. doesn't matter who is on the other side. How about North Melbourne after those few close games, Ivan? Would you love to face them and prove that you can beat them? Actually, I, 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 I want to play against them, yeah. Just with the full team to see if we're going to lose again. But they are top team, my friend. To win against North Melbourne, you really have to have a good day and be lucky too. Ivan, I think you proved that uh, Baldwin is a top team tonight. No matter what you do in this cup, a lot of people are already talking that you could be a uh, premier contenders next season. So well done, mate. You're a living legend. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Well, there it is. An amazing seven goals from Ivan Zilic against his former team. The good news for him, they are going to be playing North Melbourne in the next round next week. Simply mouth-watering futsal. Pasco Vale take on Paran. So as usual, we'll leave you with two words, and that's froth on.